Russia has invaded Ukraine. Explosions rang out in the capital Kiev and other cities on Thursday. They came after Russia's president ordered a military operation into Ukraine's east. A Reuters witness heard blasts only minutes after President Vladimir Putin spoke on live TV. There he framed Russia's move as an act of defense. I decided to conduct a special military operation. It aims to protect people who have been bullied and subjected to genocide by the Kiev regime for eight years. For that, we will strive to demilitarization and denazification of Ukraine and will bring to justice those who committed multiple bloody crimes against civilians, including Russian citizens. It's not clear just how big Russia's operation might be, but it appeared to go beyond helping Russian-backed separatists in eastern Ukraine. Russian forces fired missiles at several cities and landed troops on Ukraine's southern coast. In the capital, explosions were heard and gunfire crackled near the main airport. The US and its allies have been quick to condemn Russia's actions. President Joe Biden said he would meet the leaders of G7 to map out more severe measures against Russia, adding that, quote, Russia alone is responsible for the death and destruction this attack will bring. The UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres made a last-minute plea to Putin to stop the war in the name of humanity. Bring your troops back to Russia. Biden has spoken to Ukraine's president, who announced that martial law will be introduced on all territories of the state. Ukraine dismisses Russia's claims of genocide, calling them invented. It has also said Putin was looking for an artificial pretext to attack it. Russia has been demanding an end to NATO's eastward expansion. Putin's actions came hours after a plea issued by pro-Russian separatists in eastern Ukraine to Moscow for help in stopping alleged aggression from Kiev. Claims the US has dismissed as Russian propaganda and which Kiev denies.